we hear all the time people, oh, I'm, are you keeping Shabbat? Are you not keeping Shabbat? Uh, you know, like, uh, I'm Shomer Shabbos, I'm not Shomer Shabbos. Like, what, what does the whole thing of keeping Shabbat? If we think about it, it doesn't make any sense. So you're, you're trying to keep, some, keep Shabbat. So um, if I keep Shabbat, I'm religious. If I don't keep Shabbat, I'm not religious. Keeping Shabbat destroys, meaning the, the, the word, the, 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 the concept of keeping Shabbat, I believe, um, it's my personal opinion, destroys what Shabbat is all about. Um, and, and, and therefore, we, are, we sometimes approach uh, Shabbat in a way that, oh, I didn't keep one thing. Oh, that's it, I broke Shabbat. There's no point of keeping it um, or, or continuing to leave it. So I want to share the, the concept of stopping to say keeping Shabbat. It's living Shabbat, experiencing Shabbat. Shabbat is the level of relationship of closeness to God. It's like you say, I'm keeping my marriage or I'm not keeping my marriage. So if you do something wrong, you're not keeping your marriage. So you, you, you didn't wash the dishes, you're not keeping your marriage. It's uh, keeping has, is, has a, a, a negative flavor, I think, uh, and destroys the real purpose and, and idea what Shabbat is. You, Shabbat is the relationship with God. Shabbat is the intimacy. So you, you, it's not you're keeping intimacy, you're not keeping intimacy. We, we are trying to reach uh, um, a meditative state, uh, a transcendental state, a state of complete harmony. And it's beyond keeping something. All the, 30, all the 39 tools um, that, um, and laws that enables us to experience Shabbat or Shabbos are, um, are, 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 are more than laws and rules. They are ways of life. They are uh, meditation techniques um, that enables us to little by little reach um, a real intimate spiritual experience. So try to look at it as, a, as the relationship. You are trying to experience the relationship and you were giving 39 uh, coaching tools to feel that intimate relationship with God. So uh, next time you want to experience Sh Shabbos, try to look at it that way. Don't, stop focusing Oh, I'm going to keep Shabbat. Focus on, I'm going to experience, have a relationship with God, uh, intimate relationship with God. That, that, that can change the whole thing. And you have to see how all those 39 tools, 39 melachot, 39 laws that are given are all tools for your relationship with God. It, it creates the ambience, the atmosphere, the, it gives you all the all the, the necessary um, feelings and awareness about God, about He loving you and being part of your everyday life. Um, so try to live Shabbat, Shabbat like a relationship. And I want to finish with also the Hebrew. We say Shomer Shabbos. What's Shomer Shabbos? It's Shomer Shabbos. We translate as keeping Shabbat. That's where it comes from. Shomer means to protect and to guard. Meaning there's something very precious about Shab Shabbos. So what really are you guarding? What are you protecting? You protect what's precious. You're protecting your intimacy with God. So think about it in those terms. When Shabbos comes, say, Oh, why, why am I going to do during those 24 hours? I'm going to live in a way that I'm going to protect my intimate connection with God, my spirituality with God. So it's like you go on a date. What do you go on a date? Let's say you have a 24-hour date. I go on a date to protect my relationship with my spouse um, and because during the week it, it, uh, it becomes, it fades. It, I don't see her uh, or him uh, as much. I don't, I don't, uh, I can't cultivate it so much. Um, there's a distancing there's a bit, a little fight there, a little problem there, and I want to go back to that intimacy and protect it. And therefore, I'm gonna shut off my cell phone. I'm not gonna answer my work. 
I'm not going to use my computer. I'm going to be face to face, face to face with my spouse and, and spend quality time and spending time learning about each other and spending time loving each other. So I think if we use Shabbos in this, in this way, we think of keeping Shabbos in the right way, then, then we, we have to stop using the word keeping. We have to use the word, um, I'm guarding, I'm going to go guard my relationship with God, uh, my intimacy with God, my spiritual connection with God. So have, I wish you all a wonderful Shabbos.